My name is Barack Obama. Hey, what up, guys? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play the Mass Effect trilogy. Going to be continuing Mass Effect 2. First things first, we need to go talk to the elusive man. What up? Let's see what he has to say to uh, Mr. Obama. Uh, he better not talk any mess because uh, I'm the commander in chief, bitch. Such a cool moment in this game, honestly. I love this. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Alrighty, so now I've leveled up, so let's level up a little bit. Save my points, actually. Um, normally when I start this game, I like to uh, get up... This is for everyone, not just Vanguard, every single one. Um, one of the problems in this game, one of the biggest complaints that a lot of people had, was the fact that they really toned down the amount of powers that you and your allies would have. Like, for for example, I mean, you just count the amount of powers this Vanguard has, it's like barely anything compared to what you get in Mass Effect 3 and what you get in Mass Effect 1. So it was a really big complaint a lot of people had. But, in general, what I like to do is I like to get up the main power first, which for the Vanguard is charge, and then the actual, like, assault mastery or whatever it's called for all the other people as well. Getting them up first, to me, is the best way to go. And then I might focus on something like incinerary ammo and then reeve and probably not really mess with shockwave much or cryo ammo much or pool much. But that's just the way I go about it. And that's the same with, like, people like Miranda and Jacob and all of them. All right, so let's go ahead. Now, we could talk. I could talk to Miranda. And it is funny, actually. Let me talk to this. Hey, what up, baby? The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. 
I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. <laughs> this is the best. I know I don't want to be a dick to Miranda for real, but this is just too good. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Yeah, that's right, Jacob. That's all for now. We need to stick together. Yes. Come on, brother. Alright. Anyway, uh, let's go on and get our mission summary. And now we can move on to the next place. I forgot what the name of this place is. I know he probably already... I think the Elusive Man told me where I was going. <laughs> Freedom Pro... Uh, pro uh, hold on, I don't want to mess this up. Freedom Progress. I think that's the name of the place. Ugh. Yeah, I fuck up a lot of words, guys. I think yeah, most people know that, but uh, that just comes from the commentary primarily. You know, it's like a lot of words I can say. It's just that in the heat of the moment, I don't want to fuck them up in the commentary. Put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Because um, that's just kind of the, how it goes with a speech impediment. I hope you guys know by this point, I do have a speech impediment. I've talked about it before, but uh, you know, when when you have a speech impediment, like there's certain words that I can say. But then there's other words that I really can't say right because my speech impediment primarily comes from like T's and shit. So, um, one problem I always face when I do a commentary is that, you know, I'll, I'm about to say a word and, I, and I, I'm, I'm about to mess it up. I already know I'm going to mess it up. So I'll just like stop mid-sentence because I don't want to fuck it up. Um, you know, it's just kind of how it goes. It's, it's a goddamn shame. But it doesn't really matter. I don't think you guys care for real. It's kind of funny anyway, so... Let's go ahead and be a nice guy. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Alright. Let's just skip that. Alright, so now we have new weapons. So let's go ahead and put them on. In fact, I'm also going to go ahead and... Uh, you should always kind of do this. Put your ammo on, both of them. Also, we can level up uh, Jake, Jacob, and uh, Miranda a little bit. Now, my favorite power ever is honestly uh, Warp. I absolutely love Warp just because it's just so good in this game. And with Jacob, let's level that up a little bit. And Incinerary Ammo. And now we can actually put that on Jacob as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Actually, there's no point to have a shotgun on right now. <clears throat> so if we run down here, we're gonna go fine. They really, you know, honestly, like, although Mass Effect 2, I, I feel like I walk a lot better. I, I, I personally think in Mass Effect 3, they, that's when they finally fix like the awkward movement. It's Mass Effect 1 that's got awful. Oh god, we got enemies. Now these enemies you should definitely take out from a distance. Strange. Security. All right, now we can switch it up to shotgun and charge into battle. Bam! Watch. My shield. Gotta watch out for the mechs that spawn over there. There will be another one. Warp his ass. Alright, go ahead and grab Metagel. Now, this will be my first uh, bypassing attempt, which is so awesome in this game. I love the fact they did, they did this with bypassing, because this is just so easy. Now, hacking is a little bit more annoying, but bypassing is super easy. Some money over here. Ah. 
gosh. Alright. So. Hey, some Corians! What Look the fuck? Right there. Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Now, this is a part right here that always kind of pissed me off. Alright, it's not really a big deal, but most of the cameos, well, this really, Tally's an actual crew member, but most of the times when you run into people from Mass Effect 1, you can say different stuff to them, like that you did for them in Mass Effect 1. Now, there's this one particular mission, or psych like mission, in uh, Mass Effect 1 where you have to uh, go and destroy all these Geth uh, planets and facilities, and then at the end of it, you get some data that you can give to uh, Tally. Which is like her gift, because everyone had a gift. Like Rex had the armor. Um, you know, there's there's like these certain gifts you can give to people. And for Tally, I mean that that was one of the worst, probably the worst one. Like honestly, it took so long. It was so annoying. And all you say about it, all that happens from it is you could just say this right here. Kind of always pissed me off. Remember when I gave you that geth data, Tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Praza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young Quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. All right, Let me go ahead and switch my weapon real quick. To this uh machine pistol because uh we gotta fight these one stupid things those things and we can bypass another one of these and now that's dead easy money This is when, this is actually one of the only parts of this entire mission that's kind of annoying. Alright, so let's overload it. I, I like the shuriken in this game, it's definitely so much better than it is in Mass Effect 3. Like I said, all, there's really not too many bad weapons in this game. Um, that's for fucking sure. Oh no, Miranda's dead! Whoa! Pro dodge. I'm gonna move up, actually. Whoa, God, get off the wall. One more of these things. No, that was it. All right. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. Now this right up here, uh, we're gonna get these stupid things to appear. Now if you really want to make this part easy, just run up here, and you can get on the wall, and actually position your allies well. And it seems, it, I'm not 
deposit, but I don't really think they can hit you very easily in this position as long as you have the cover. Like, the rockets primarily just completely miss. Yeah, like right there. So. But they can still shoot you, as you can see. There's one more left. It's dead. There's some money the over first. here. And some ammo. We're gonna need that. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Now, this fight's always it's not really hard, it's just can be a little annoying because your teammates get fucking absolutely wrecked. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. This is such a awesome moment though. <laughs> Tally's the only fucking smart one out of this entire group. I mean, this shit's just brutal. Like, like, oh my god, poor Corey. <laughs> she just got fucked up. I'm surprised they didn't add these uh, these that types of mechs back to um. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Alright, yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I'm surprised they didn't add these mechs to, uh, oh, Mass oh, Effect 3. Just to have it something... <clears throat> something like that, you know? Let's go ahead and overload it. Now this could be really fucking stupid of me to charge, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, that was definitely dumb. Get that missile out of here. Oh, that was actually really stupid right there. You should only pull him when he gets down to half health. When he actually gets down to his health, then you'll knock his ass down. And he's dead. Alright. Go ahead and bypass this as well, and we get some more money. I need the money. Alright. Now, uh, another thing, too, about Mass Effect uh, 2, which I actually really enjoyed. I think some people hated it, but I love the upgrade system in this game. I thought those were great. We can use this. All right, so now we can go in here. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Man. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. 
They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Eerie moment, just like Mass Effect 1, when you first see a Sovereign. Such a dope moment, how you just like, mm. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. 
I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Alright, uh, I'm gonna skip this just because this moment is so fucking lame without the music, that's for sure. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Yeah. That moment, this moment as well, is so lame without the music, so I'm just skipping this shit. Um, anyway, let me think here. Uh, I'll... I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna end it yet, but I'll end it after this next uh, dialogue because uh, that's important. But yeah, it's a real damn shame I can't have the music. But uh, yeah, man, it's such a cool moment when you find the Normie SR2. So dope. Anyway, man. Yeah. So we have now found out that the collectors are behind the human abductions. So. That's not good. In the next episode, I will be going probably to Omega, more than likely. Um, I was thinking about maybe going to uh, Citadel right away, but Omega seems like I always I like to get Morden right away because he's like my favorite, uh, one of my favorite people to play on my on my squad. Morden and Miranda is the way I like to go, and then maybe Thing and Miranda is the other way I like to go most of the time, but primarily Morden and Moran. I don't know. Morden incinerating this game is so good. So freaking good, and I love double SMGs for my squad. Like, um, it, it's, it's really good because if you have like double SMGs, um, they can help really focus down shields, while you can just uh, charge in and just fuck them up, and then you have warp and incinerate for armor, it's just, and warp for barriers, I mean, you, it's just fantastic. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. 
Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Now that we've established who's in charge, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Alrighty. Skip all this. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but getting more than really quick is important so you can start using that tech lab and getting all your upgrades and stuff. Now, I don't think you can really talk to Miranda and Jacob. I don't really... I don't think you can talk to them right away, but maybe I can. I don't know. Probably do in the next episode, though. Let me hurry up and switch my uh, weapons, though. Because now I get to use my badass shotgun. And uh, arc projectile. Love that gun. And that's going to be it for now. I'll change the rest later. Alright, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please give me a like. Please give me a favor. And subscribe and all that nonsense. You know how it goes. But, uh, you know, I will see you guys next time.